This video is proudly sponsored by New Type. Tools, accessories, model kits, these guys have it. Hop over to NewTypesHQ.com and use promo code UTAKABUTTER for 10% off on your next purchase. Hey, what's going on dudes and dudettes, and welcome back to another exciting episode from the good folks from Kotobukiya. So why don't we kick things off with the famous blue bomber himself, the 112 scale full action plastic model kit, Mega Man X. And without further ado, let's get to it. So a handful of you dudes and dudettes know I built the Rockman Zero model kit earlier this year and it was an absolute blast to build. Add some custom weathering here and there, put an LED light into the jewel, but I always felt that there was something missing. Why has Kotobukiya not made a proper Mega Man X figurine or model kit? So Kotobukiya has partnered up with Capcom to bring us a Mega Man X model kit finally after waiting close to 30 plus years to get a proper model kit. Now right off the bat when you look at this box art, it is beautifully well designed easily to read from far away, and most importantly, this model kit has the most insane articulation I have seen for a small figurine in a long time. But most importantly, you get interchangeable faceplates to your personal preference, and that is awesome! And the reason why I say that is because Zero only had one expression on his model kit and two interchangeable eyes, which is very creepy, but at least Kotobuki went the extra step to actually add a little bit more personality to his model kit. So what do you get inside the box? Right off the bat, you get a brief history of the Maverick Hunter himself and a laydown on what you can expect for runners for this model kit. As for the following pages, it gives you a rundown on what you can expect to install or put together for this model kit. As like every Kotobukiya kit, you don't need glue so the pieces are actually very tightly connected. Which is a plus, but it also can be a problem, especially if you're going to do custom painting. With pieces being so close together, it's actually going to chip and strip the paint. So. Be careful when it comes to actually doing some custom painting because you're going to pay the price by actually scratching the paint off of the surface. So as for the first runners up in the box, you are immediately introduced by pre-molded hands that have a strong resemblance to Mickey Mouse, but it makes sense, Mega Man is a cartoon character, in this case an anime character. Abundancy of clear pieces for the Mega Man Buster Cannon, which is also cool. A handful of red parts which are going to be used for the helmet as well as the bottom parts of the shoe. A small little red nut pieces which is going to be for the mouth for one of the face plates. And a massive amount of ball joint bearings for this model kit. And the classic blue itself which is absolutely gorgeous and a handful of sky blue pieces for the legs as well as the elbows. As for the final runners, you get a handful of gray pieces which are going to be for the elbows and for the knees, which is pretty much the inner frame pieces, as well as a couple of blue slash purple slash gray pieces that are going to be for the very front, and the main traction for this model kit is the effect parts and the face plates, which I have to get Kotobukiya a lot of credit. Not only these are beautifully sculpted, but they are very well painted. Good on you Kotobukiya, you guys are killing it. So for the red effect parts, I want to give them some kind of texture while at the same time not having it being boggled down to just one color tone. So I'm going to be adding a nice clear orange on top of the red surface area and then follow it up with a red LED light. Now on a camera you're not going to see the effect too well, but with the untrained eye it actually creates a nice little texture to it. So that's the reason why I'm going with this method.
deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Or if they really care There's a stairway down for the both of us But let's not go there You got me thinking, whoa Now for the clear effect parts, I want to do something really bold, but at the same time get some kind of personality to it. So these effect parts are already like a clear, transparent color, which is fine. But for me, I want to put an LED light in there. But if I put an LED light inside there, you're clearly going to see the LED light. So to help reduce that effect, I'm going to be actually using a flat coat spray inside of the plastic, at least two to three coats until you don't see any kind of transparency of the plastic at all. Once that's done correctly, I'm going to actually put an LED light in there to make it look really cool. But this is where things get a bit complicated. So if you just plug in a regular green LED light, the effect is not going to come out well at all because the colors are already green. But if you put a blue LED light in there with a higher light spectrum, then you have magic, my friends. It looks gorgeous. And, and in fact, it looks very game accurate.
right, dudes and dudettes, as this video is wrapping up, I want to share with you guys my thoughts and impressions about this model kit because this is a really good kit. And there's like very small drawbacks to it, but there's like tons of great things about it. So let's talk about the bads. So just like I mentioned earlier in the video, you're going to actually have some big issues when it comes to custom painting. And my biggest issue with this kit was actually having pieces rub against one another and started to flake and chip the paint off because the design of this kit is supposed to be very tightly compact and it's very well designed. But for those who want to add a little custom flair to it, you're going to get that area where you're paint job is going to get severely damaged as you keep putting one piece onto another or just trying to pose the model kit overall. So that's like my only drawback with the model kit. I mean, overall, it is a, no pun intended, it is a rock solid model kit. But I know there's a handful of you guys out there probably telling yourself, I don't want to spend 70 plus dollars on a kit that's this small and, and has this amount of effect parts. That's well understandable, but if you really take in consideration the engineering that went into actually making this kit absolutely flexible, the jaw-dropping and beautifully well-sculpted and painted faces, and the actual added bonus, which I'm pretty sure that's how they got, they got the price tag a little bit higher, with the effects parts, I think it's worth like 70 bucks. Truly, it's worth it. But it probably would have helped they add like a little LED gimmick into the firewall, just saying, you know, a little bonus feature, but... I don't think Kotobuki is at that point yet where they're comfortable adding LED functionality into their model kits. And that's why you guys have me here to do that for you. <laughs> so now for the goods. This kit was incredible. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I wish it was a little bit more bigger because I did have some complications trying to funnel in the electrical wire to illuminate the feet. Which unfortunately towards the end of this build I had to disconnect them. Um, and that is, that's mainly due to the fact how the LED lights are designed and where the capacitors are installed. That That's that's the only downside. Just wish it a little bit more bigger. But you get tons of options of creating some cool and iconic action poses. And just overall, man, I feel so happy to actually finally have a proper Mega Man model kit in my collection. And I would encourage anyone to give this kit a try. You can easily get it built in a day. And if you do custom painting, you can get it done in two days. Overall, this kit's incredible. Highly recommended for any fans or people that are wanting to try something new. Definitely give it a shot. You won't be disappointed. But unfortunately, dudes and dudettes, that's all the time I have. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you guys so much for the new subscribers. And I will see you dudes and dudettes on the next video. Later.